Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem 21 of chapter 5. The uniform rod AB has a mass of 40 kg. Determine the force in the cable when the rod is in the position shown. There is a smooth collar at A. So smooth collar means there is no friction, so there is no resistance along the rod. Also, the mass is given to us. So usually we are neglecting the mass of our bar and a, or our beam here in this problem. We are not neglecting the mass and we have to include that in our free body diagram. The first step is to draw the free body diagram, FBD. So and then include all the forces that are being applied to our free body diagram. So we have, going to draw our bar here, a B. We only have BY is free to move in X, um, X direction. I have a tension T and the mass is usually a distributed loading, but we could find an equivalent point load of that. So that would be the weight acting in the middle. And here at A, the only reaction that we have is AY because it can move uh, sorry, AX, because it can move uh, in in Y direction, and also it can rotate. So no resistant moment or anything in Y direction. So we have uh, so we have three unknowns. BY is unknown, the tension is unknown, and AX is unknown. But we have three equations, so we can solve for the unknowns. But before that, let me write the. Uh, dimensions here this angle is 60 degrees and uh, it's acting in the middle so that would be 1.5 meter and the total would be 3 meter so summation of forces in x summation of forces in y and moment equation so summation of forces in x equal zero let's see what forces we have we have ax also, we have the tension equal zero. Both of them are unknown. So this equation uh, doesn't give us anything yet. So summation of forces, zero. Let's see what forces do we have in Y. We have BY. And then we have the weight. So minus W equals zero. So therefore, BY and W is, we have the mass which is 40 kilogram, 9.81, that would be BY. So now we have to write a moment equation. We, I'm gonna write a moment equation about point B. I'm gonna assume counterclockwise to be positive. So at point B, I get rid of these two forces. If I write a moment equation about point B, the only two forces that are going to create a moment are going to be our W and AX. But first find the moment arm. For our W, the moment R is this distance. We should be 1.5 cosine 60. And for AX, the moment arm would be 1.5 this angle is 60 degrees sine 60 our force ax is creating a clockwise so that would be a negative for moment for ax and our force w the weight is creating counterclockwise moment so that would be positive so i have two moments in opposite directions so a summation of moment about point b i have my W, which creates a positive moment, 49.81. Moment arm is 1 point times cosine 60. And AX, here this distance is actually the total beam, so that would be 3 sine 60. For plugging the value, AX would be 
Newton. I have by and then I can find tension. Tension is the same as AX. So that would be 150.5 Newton. So I have all the unknown that the problem is asking for. 